Hey everyone and welcome back to Schneitz 15. Today we're going to be winterizing a Honda carbureted outboard of 45 horse. We're going to dump in some of my uh, new Seafoam Marine Pro stabilizer, get the boat out of the water, get it on the muffs. We're going to pop the cowling and get ready for fogging. I like to do this out of the water because it's not putting all that oil into the water. So with it running, I like to rev it up a bit with my hand, spray it, help smooth slightly and not choke out the engine. That's just my way. Next, I would normally change the oil, but this customer has asked since they only used the boat for about two hours, to just check the oil and make sure it doesn't need changed. I look and uh, I see that the oil is very clear and they are right, they really didn't use the engine much and there's no need to change it. So we're gonna go on to the gear oil. Sometimes this isn't done every year, depending on what customer it is. So I'm gonna pop this and check it again. I, uh, I usually just use a zip tie. I check it and it looks really gray to me and I'm gonna say that this needs to be changed. So I go ahead and pull the bottom screw. Just make sure when you pull these screws that there is two screws. One has a magnet and one does not. The top, the magnets for in the bottom so it catches your metal shavings. It is a dog clutch gear system and that's just how it goes. You get metal shavings in the oil. So I'm just showing you the gear oil screws there just not to mix them up the longer one goes in the bottom. Let that gear oil drain and make sure you tip up the engine so your bullet is on an angle there like I'm showing you and that will uh, allow the oil to drain out your front screw. Once it's done, you can use whatever you want. Use a uh, gear oil pump. I have a big large shop pump. I did spill a little bit here. I got a little careless trying to do camera work. But anyways, don't do that. Just fill it up until it comes out the top screw. Put in your top screw and then uh, once you have that in, pull your bottom screw and put it in the bottom. Uh, it's key to put in the top one first so it does not siphon out. Now that we uh, have done our oil changes, gear oil change, uh, make sure your boat's trimmed in the proper position uh, for where you would like to leave it for the winter. And we're gonna just go up, pop off our battery terminal. Most times, sometimes they're metric, most of the time they're just a half inch wrench. Pop off your uh, negative, so when you reconnect it in the spring, you're just grounding out the battery instead of putting your positive on. It saves it from sparking, saves you from an accident happening. So with our battery disconnected, our oils and checked and our fluids checked and changed, our fuel stabilized and our engine fog, we're ready to put this thing to bed. Thanks for watching guys.